You probably heard the story we reported the other day about LinkedIn having to pay millions in overtime to certain employees. They happen to have been misclassified as exempt from overtime. Well, it turns out employers big and small are wrestling with this. Kristen Prince is a business attorney. She's principal at the Prince Law Firm. Now, what is it that the rules aren't clear? How is it so many companies are goofing this up? Uh, well, Bill, this area of law has gotten more and more gray over the years. It used to be really clear. Uh, you pay your employees a salary and they are exempt. You don't pay them overtime. They work the hours needed for the job. Now, there are so many employees that are actually non-exempt and the definitions are extremely complicated. Now, is this because uh, the definition of work has changed somewhat? Because I know in the tech world, you come and go as you please. It's not clear that it's eight hours on and the rest of the day off. That's definitely part of the problem. People are connected 24-7 and employers really have not been doing a good job of tracking the time or communicating to employees when they're supposed to be working and when they're not supposed to be working. Actually, that's part of the LinkedIn settlement is LinkedIn has to uh, now start training its employees about not working off the clock uh, and make sure that they understand that if they have been working overtime, that they should report it. So companies are getting the message now that they better tighten up the rules and definitions. But even if they do that, they're liable for losses. That's true. I, if you have employees working off the clock, even if you tell them you're not allowed to work off the clock, if they are working off the clock and you know about it, your company is going to be liable for that. And there's this retroactive aspect that can be kind of expensive too. Yeah, uh, you can actually be liable for up to three years in back wages. That can put a company out of business. So this is the Labor Department. Is it suddenly more aggressive in pursuing this? Is that why we're seeing this more and more? Yes, uh, the Department of Labor really right now is targeting tech companies in part because of the culture. Uh, tech companies have seen a lot of growth. They've gotten a lot of press for these flexible work-life situations. But really, it sounds like that flexibility means you're working all the time. Yes. Kristen exactly. Prince, thanks so much. Thank you, Bill.